Salam and welcome to Ramadan 2021 Iftar day number 26. Today was not a big day for cooking. My cousins actually had some leftovers from the day before. So we went over to their house to break fast, but I did make some pine tarts to take over uh, before I went there. This vlog is basically a day at the cemetery. I went to visit my mom who passed away about six years ago and it was just an emotional day for me. And I hope that you enjoy the vlog. And more importantly, I hope that you're able to use my pine tart recipe. Please comment below and let me know if you were able to do that. I would love to hear how it worked out for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I also appreciate your support. Today, we are actually heading to the cemetery to visit my mom's grave at Washington Memorial in Mount Sinai, Long Island. It's a beautiful sunny day outside and it's a perfect day to uh, go and spend some time at her grave. My mom passed away about six years ago in June um, on the 25th of 2015 and she actually passed away in Ramadan month and she was buried on June. So here we are entering into the cemetery and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people visiting graves today because it is the month of Ramadan and many people will want to visit their families um, and their loved ones who have departed this world. And Washington Memorial Park was um, somewhere that my mom actually chose to be buried. So these grounds are just breathtaking and I know that my mom, if she was alive, she would be in awe of how beautiful this place is and um, the gardens and the cherry blossoms. It's just so spectacular and it's so befitting of her um, grave. I can already see how many cars are here and I know that there's many people visiting their loved ones. Um, you know, this is the only uh, weekend that's left in the month of Ramadan and it happens to be a nice day out for now. Um, you know, when you come to the grave and you make dua, you know, you're making dua for all the Muslim brothers and sisters that have passed on. It's been a while since we came. This is my mom's grave. Her name is Bibi Khan. She's buried next to her aunt, which is my grandmother's eldest sister. I know it's the will of Allah. I really wish my mom was alive today. I miss her so much. such a beautiful soul it's such a beautiful person life is so strange it's from God we come and from and to God we return and, and I know it's happens I know this is the will of Allah but it's so painful when you don't have your mother around for those of you that are lucky to have your moms are your parents alive? Please cherish every single moment. My mom was one of the most special people in my life and her and I were incredibly close. And November 9th, she would have turned 65, 2015. And she wasn't feeling well for a couple of months and um, she went to the doctor and she was given the most devastating news and that she had cancer and that it was terminal. My mom from November 2014 died so quickly. She died uh, June 25th, 2015. So it was a matter of seven and a half months and it was so quick. She passed away in Ramadan month on June 25th, which is a Thursday, and she was buried on a Friday, Juma Day. It was one of the most special Ramadan months for us because I feel like her be, her dying in the month of Ramadan and being buried on a Juma Day are all such good signs. I want to believe that they're good signs. 
And then if it is the will of Allah that she is entering into Jannah. Ya Allah. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem. Bismillahi rahman rahim. We know that death is inevitable. But even though we know that it's inevitable and it's going to happen to every single one of us, we are never prepared for it. Uh, as long as we are born, we will have to die. As Muslims, we know and we are taught that there is no cure for death. Death is a disease that there is never ever going to be a cure for it. No matter what science inventions we come up with, we cannot cure death. When we are lying in the cemetery, this is the third stage of our life. This stage at which we are going to lie is called the Barzakh. We are waiting here now for the day of Yawm al Qiyamah, that grand day. In this world, when we leave, we leave our loved ones. And the time that we spend, it's the memory that is created. Alhamdulillah, we were blessed with this beautiful soul. Maybe Farida Khan was, was not uh, only an awesome mother, but a great daughter, a sister, a mother-in-law, a neighbor, a co-worker. She was so much, to so much to so many people. She was, she epitomizes excellence. She did everything and did it with such love and care. She was so soft-spoken. Everybody who came into contact with her was moved by her. No matter what, she, what, what trials she was going through in life, she always kept a smile and faced the pains and never liked to complain. She was an excellent example as a, of a human being. She prayed her salah and lived a very pristine and a pious life. We pray that Allah give her Jannah, Jannah to Firdaus in the highest station and the send our salams upon her and all the other inhabitants. We were fortunate to have spent the last couple months with her of her life. She lived with us and throughout that she was going through a lot of pain and despite the pain that she was going through she never complained. She, was, she still held up strong up to the last moment when she was conscious. What an inspiration she is of strength and vigor. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and give us some of the strength and, uh, that she inspires us and we can follow in her footsteps. We're leaving the cemetery and it was such an emotional time for me to visit with my mom. But um, in Ramadan month, if you're able to get to the graves and visit those who have passed away and make dua for them, please make it you know your duty to be able to do that. To make my pine tart, I have two and a half cups of regular sifted white flour. Pillsbury flour is perfectly fine. I also have two teaspoons of white sugar. You can use brown sugar if you want to as well. I have one teaspoon of salt, and then I also have unsalted butter. I prefer to use Land O'Lakes brand, which I think is really good for baking. So I have unsalted, it's two sticks, and what I'm gonna do is, um, first of all, this is a really, really cold butter. It's not room temperature or softened at all. It was in the refrigerator the entire time. And what I like to do is I like to cut it in half lengthwise, instead of just throwing the whole stick of butter and mushing it up. And then I also like to cut it into little um, cubes and then place that into the flour, just like this. So when it comes to pine jam, what I like to do is, um, I usually like to make my own pine jam when I have more time. I'm a little pressed for time today because I went to the cemetery and to go there, it's an hour. To come back, it's an hour plus the time that we spent there. So it took a big chunk out of our, um, you know, mid-afternoon. So I like Smucker's brand. So what I do is I take a strainer and I usually like to uh, dump out all of the jam into the strainer and whatever excess moisture or liquid is in there that's syrupy that would run when you're baking inside of the pine tart i like to have that drip out so with kneading my dough what i do is i use a dough kneader tool instead of my hands because you don't want the warmth or the heat from your hands to melt the butter 
and this helps to um it's got the grates through it so it helps to incorporate and break up the butter a little bit nicer i don't like doing this in a mixer i think it's better you know doing it by hand like this for the perfect dough texture um for your pine tart cheese roll or even when you make beef patties my dough is nice and completed with the butter all incorporated in and it's so beautifully flaky already. So here I have about a half a cup of incredibly cold water. I put it into the freezer and we're going to start to drizzle this water in. I may not use all of it. You just have to kind of test it, but I'm going to drizzle in a little bit at a time and start forming a dough ball. So it's starting to form together. So you could just kind of form it into a ball. I think that's it. So there is my dough ball. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, cover it with a saran wrap for about my dough is out of the refrigerator and I'm just gonna go ahead and form out little dough balls. So maybe about, I'm trying to see if I'm gonna get about 20 pine tarts out of this um, set of flowers. So, you know, try to make all of them uniform in size so this way they all bake up around the same way. Okay, then what I do when I'm done is I just go in my palm of my hand and make little circles and turn it into a round ball like that. So I was able to get 23 dough balls and I'm just gonna roll these out now and then add some pine to it. What I did was in my pan, I added some nonstick spray. If you have parchment paper, you're, it's you know perfect instead of the nonstick spray. I just don't have parchment paper, I ran out, so um, I'm gonna use the nonstick spray instead. And I also have my uh, oven heated to 375 degrees. What you do is you take a, about a you know small teaspoon Fill it up and you fill it into your dough and form it into the shape of a triangle. And that is your pine tart. And try to make sure you seal all of the ends so that your dough doesn't seep through or seep out. So that is what my pine tart looks like. All of my pine tarts are completed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one egg and I'm basically going to separate the yolk from the white of the egg. So there we go, and I'm gonna keep the yolk. I'm just gonna mix your yolk up really well, and I just use a brush and I lightly dress each one of my pine tarts to give it some nice color. So this is what my pine tarts look like, and I'm gonna pop it into the oven at 375, and I'm gonna check it in about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to simply rotate the pan in the oven so that, you know, the heat is distributed evenly. And then I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes and it should be done. These are my pine tarts. They look yummy and they cooked really nice and none of them opened up, which was great. And if you pinch off the dough, see how it crumbles? It's kind of like what I like in my pine tart. It's that nice flaky dough.